let us discuss this example so in this example we have xd is a matrix space and they have defined a function d1 in this way so d1 of xy is equal to square root of d of xy we have to prove that that d1 is also metric on x so when can we say that d1 is a metric on x when it satisfies all four conditions first is non negativity second is d1 of xy is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y third is symmetry and the last one is triangle inequality so let us start to prove that d1 satisfies all four properties okay so i will start with the given information so let me write we have we have okay let me write it properly we have t is a metric on x it is a metric on x so d is a metric on x so that's why d satisfies all four properties so therefore it satisfies first property also so therefore d of x y is greater than or equal to zero for all x y belongs to capital x after that what will i do i will take positive square root of both sides so what will happen so we will have square root of d of x y is greater than or equal to zero for all x y belongs to capital x i should mention by considering positive square root by considering positive square root okay so we got this one but square root of d of x y that is nothing but d1 of x y so that's why square root we can replace by d1 of x y so implies d1 of x y is greater than or equal to 0 for all x y belongs to capital x in this way d1 satisfies the first property let us go for the second property so what is second property second property is d1 of x y is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y okay so i will start with consider d1 of x y is equal to 0 d1 of x y is equal to 0 if and only if what is definition of d1 square root of dxy so therefore square root of dxy is equal to 0 i will take square of both sides to remove that square root so if you take square of both sides we will have d of xy is equal to 0 okay but don't forget that d is a metric on x so that means 100 percent d satisfies all four properties so therefore what can i write so therefore x is equal to y so the reason is since d is metric on x d is metric on x it is a reason this is a given information x d is a matrix space that means d is a metric on x so therefore d satisfies that second property d of x y is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y so basically we started with d1 of x y is equal to 0 and finally we got x is equal to y so that means d1 satisfies second property also let us go for the third property but uh, there is no more space make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us prove the third property so the third property is symmetry that means we have to prove d1 of x y is equal to d1 of y x we will start with left hand side so consider d1 of x y d1 of x y what is definition of d1 it is equal to square root of d of x y so this is equal to square root of d of x y but as we know d is a matrix so that's why d of x y is same as d of y x so therefore i can write square root of d of y x so the reason i should mention here since d is metric on x so d is metric on x so therefore we can write d of x y is equal to d of y x so d is a metric so therefore it satisfies the third property symmetry that's why we could write it see square root of d of y x that means this is nothing but d1 of y x get it so we started with d1 of x y and finally we got d1 of y x so that's why d1 satisfies the third property symmetry right so now we have to prove only last property make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us prove the last property which is triangle inequality so the triangle inequality says d1 of xz should be less than or equal to d1 of xy plus d1 of yz this thing we have to prove okay so see let us consider d1 of xz 
so definition says this is equal to square root of d of x z by definition okay to remove that square root i will take square of both sides okay that square root can increase complications so to avoid it i am taking square so this uh, that square root uh, by taking square it will be d of x y only so therefore d1 square of x z is equal to d of x z okay so see d is a matrix so that's why it satisfies that triangle inequality so by triangle inequality i can write this is less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z i should mention reason since d is metric on x so d is a metric on x so therefore d of x z is always less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z we could write it okay so see this is equal to this is less than or equal to i'm going to add just one term here so this is d of x y plus d of y z plus 2 root d of x y into root d of y z okay i have added this term see 2 cannot be negative getting so here i have considered positive square root so that's why we are adding some non negative number if any one of them is zero then we will have this one will be zero and we will have equality here so that's why i mentioned equality also if it is not equal to zero then 100 percent that is a positive real number so obviously if you add value will get increase getting so that's why i mentioned this is less than or equal to see so this is equal to i can write this is equal to square root of d of x y whole square okay square and square will get cancelled to each other and you will have d of x y again plus square root of d of y z whole square plus 2 root d of x y into root d of y z actually the same thing i have written but in a different way okay by looking at this one can you tell me this is expansion of what yeah can you tell me this is expansion of what this is expansion of square root of d of x y plus square root of d of y z bracket square okay a very simple a plus b bracket square formula I use here you know that a plus b bracket square is a square plus 2 a b plus b square same thing we have square of first plus square of second plus 2 into product of first and second okay so see finally what we get okay i should mention here huh? this is equal to square root of uh, d of x y that is nothing but d1 of x y getting square root of d of y z that is nothing but d1 of y z right square okay i'm going to write our conclusion now so therefore d1 square x z basically we started with this one we have got inequality here this is less than or equal to uh, what we have got d1 of x y plus d1 of y z whole square now i will take positive square root of both sides so therefore d1 of x z less than or equal to d1 of x y plus d1 of y z okay so here square square root will get cancelled and there is also bracket square so if you take square root uh, it will get cancelled so finally by cancelling square we get this one right and this is true for all x y z belongs to x this is nothing but triangle inequality so you know, we can say so d1 satisfies triangle inequality that means d1 satisfies all four properties so therefore we can say yes d1 is a metric on x okay make a screenshot of it after that i will write those few sentences so i have mentioned here d1 satisfies all four conditions therefore it is a metric on x therefore x d1 is a matrix space okay thank you bye bye